going to run the application. I'm just going to start the ruby mode. And hopefully this clean our filter will go away. It's an old projector that I got it from Sam's offices. So. so as Simon mentioned at the beginning, one of the things that we need to do at the beginning is just tell the program the area we're going to be working with because the view field from the Wii Remote is wider than the area that we're using. So that's actually the, the first thing I, I normally do. So is tell the Wii where are my two corners. And you can see that originally the Wii Remote was CD, so I need to kind of stretch and adjust uh, my screen. And hopefully with that, I will be able to actually start painting. <laughs> Um, you can do with Java effects, really cool effect, like when you touch the screen, you have this kind of water, like a ripple, so you know exactly where you're touching. Uh, you can bring up your palette, and let's say, okay, I want to take the purple, and then you can just go ahead and um, draw anything. Because the line is pretty small, you can bring up this, and you can actually make it thicker, and just keep... Um, drawing. So you can see, one of the issues that we have is you cannot move really fast because you might lose the signal. So the, the slower I go, the, the better uh, tracking that I have. I can always go back and clean my screen because it's kind of getting crowded here. Let me pick up another color again and you just do whatever, whatever you want to do. Like, you know, smiley face for you guys <laughs> and everything. Um, <laughs> Another trick that I wanted to do was to be able to mix colors. So let's bring the palette and, for example, I like the dark purple and I have the white color, I mix them and just using the intersection uh, from JavaFX, I can just use, you know, the light purple now. Um, the last trick, um, I really like JavaFX, as you can see, is, uh, let me clean a little bit here. Let me just maybe select a different color, let's make it, let's take the blue one, it's a nice one. And then um, let's try to do like a nice long tube. And then in JavaFX it's really easy to create a path and associate an object into the path and have oh, an object man. And follow that path. Awesome. kind of get lost and just drop and go so <laughs> um, so that's uh, the first demo um, let me now show you so I just selected two corners and I can actually bring the pictures and you can just go ahead and just you know hey move the pictures around if you want you can also you know make it bigger or oh, smaller, you can rotate them. Oh, whoa. <laughs> right, make it sh Oops. That's one of the issues that I was having. <laughs> okay. To be able to also manipulate the area we are. So, for example, I can just bring and just see, manipulate the world, I just scratch again. So um, that's one of the reasons why I'm not presenting it tomorrow. But the idea was to have two hands manipulating the images um, for this particular demo. And I think that's it from my side. It's awesome. And I see. And, and, it's and it goes to the, to the switch over okay, here. So I have control to the switch. Originally it was in the front. Let me just... Oh, is it on-off switch, or is, it, or is that a um, touch? Yeah, a touch. Let me see. Let me yeah, so I have control with my thumb. Okay. And it's really sensitive, so originally it was at the, so, at the bottom, so I just so touched the, the surface. And then, the and then one LED has to be see, infrared thing. LED, and, and that's it. Inside there is nothing else. And it's just, just the battery. Just what the, type of battery do you use? Uh, double, uh, AAA. Oh, I see, so you use yeah. a big, there's nothing smaller you can no. use. Uh, and then just a resistor, just, just, just 10K, and that's it. 10 arms, and that's it.